Good morning guys, it is Wednesday, December 14th. Sandy and I have a lot to do today. I have to film and edit. Um, she also got a new little sweater, it's so cute, from Accessorize. I don't know if she loves it, she always bites it, but like she doesn't mind. It's so funny though, because her body is so tiny where the sweater is, and then where her butt like is not covered by the sweater, it just like puffs out, so. Looks like she's got a big booty. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to go downstairs. I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl. And we have um, this house guy coming over to fix something, the threshold or something, um, later. So I just wanna get everything done before he comes over so I'm not filming when he's here. Do you have to go outside and do a wee wee? Guys, look at her butt. <laughs> so poppin'. Okay, you ready? Go. Good girl. Nope, keep going. You're almost there. Come on, Sandy. Good girl. I also picked up these um, white roses. This is um, coin eucalyptus, I believe. I think it's just spray painted gold and then some glitter baby's breath. And I'm gonna make a little Christmas bouquet for a Christmas party that we have to go to on Friday night for the girl that is cooking all of the food. So I'm gonna do this. I am in charge of dessert and guys, I'm making a Victoria sponge cake. Jane, Patty's mom, is like the queen of Victoria sponge cakes. So she has listed out everything for me. She came over and put little post-it notes on all of the ingredients, which was so sweet. And I'm gonna make my test run today. Okay, I'm gonna head to Tesco because I need to pick up a spatula, um, a sieve to put the icing sugar through or something, maybe the flour, um, self-raising flour, that's what it is and a vase and I think some new car fresheners because these ones don't smell at all. Okay, I am back home. I didn't find a sieve. We're gonna have to go sieveless. We are making Victoria sponge cake. So it's a little bit of a mess. As the cake is baking, it smells unreal. I'm making a couple bouquets one for the party and then one um, for our room upstairs, but it's a little bit sloppy in here. Guys, if you don't know, my aspiration is to have a floral shop in the far, far future, but you know, something I would love to do. So I wanna start growing flowers out there in spring, summer. Um, that's why we have those planters ready to go. Okay, so this is the finished bouquet. I thought it was nice and festive without being tacky, I guess. These um, gold spray painted eucalyptus, coin eucalyptus, are so pretty. Also, I don't know what this is, but it smells unreal. I used a fuchsia, like a bright red fuchsia um, rose instead of a typical red rose. White roses, sparkly baby's breath, not sure what this is, um, glitter pine cones, and uh, some foliage. So I think it's really cute, and I just used it in a little circle vase. Let me know down below if you guys want to see more, um, maybe even a dedicated video on how I, how I make uh, bouquets. Okay, this is bouquet number two, and this is gonna stay in our house. I didn't want to bring such a big one because I am bringing the Victoria sponge cake as well. So I just used basically the same things, but I added um, bigger pine leaves in the back because it wouldn't fit in the smaller vase. Um, more pine cones, there's a bigger one here. But yeah, this is a nice little Christmas bouquet compared to the little smaller one. <laughs> okay, cake is done. Um, there's some pieces out of it because we had a builder over and um, there was two of them and I felt kind of stressed so I put it together really quickly so that they could have a piece. They said it was really good. Normally don't put icing on the top but there was so much extra and I didn't want to waste it so I did. I had the tiniest sliver. It tasted good, really good but I should have waited till this um, cooled down a little bit more because inside is um, the icing is dripping a little bit, not the end of the world, but I'm pretty proud of myself. Right now I'm gonna make a smoothie because I have a little piece and it's not my lunch. I want to have something a little healthier. So I put in a lot of frozen fruit. I put blueberries, pineapple, mango, raspberry, spinach, and hazelnut milk, sometimes a bit of yogurt. And this is gonna be my midday snack because I have to film. Guys, it is 3.40 and it's dark out. What is going on? Anyways, finished this makeup look. Um, it wasn't like a full makeup look. It was going from everyday makeup 
and like really minimal makeup into this for like a work party, a holiday party, whatever it is, like what to bring with you in the morning to like touch up in the car, um, in your bathroom, wherever, because you probably won't have time to get home, shower, and fully get ready. So it's kind of like a quick at work, in the car, get ready for a party. So it will be up soon. Look how pretty it is outside. This guy is so nice. It's not really showing up good on camera, but it's a lot more saturated in real life. It's so pretty. I am so tired. I threw on Patty's sweater. I've been rubbing up my face, which is like taking off my makeup. Hot mess. I'm gonna take like a bath tonight, I think. I just need to relax. I've done so much today. I baked my very first cake and it actually tastes unreal. Did two bouquets. Making dinner now, we're gonna have um, garlic and pepper chicken with a tomato veggie gnocchi and green beans. So making that now, uh, Patty comes home in about 45 minutes, eating that and calling it an early night for sure. <laughs> you can have wine in the vlog. <laughs> How was work? Good. Good? Yeah. Did you That's miss Sandy and I? You and your family just go smiley and silent. <laughs> because it's like a picture. No. Guys, like and comment this video if you want Patty to do a voiceover on a makeup video. Tag and share. It. Tag! Tag what? Like and comment down below. Hashtag what? Alana e is, has. Okay, bye. You're welcome. Gnocchi, chicken, beans. Patty poured a big glass of wine, didn't you? No, this is mine and you poured your own. No. Bon appetit. Please. Is it the 14th today? 13th. Oh, oh. It's not my fault, then. It's just do it nicely. Patty gets so upset because I'm not a clean advent opener. <laughs> clean isn't anywhere near it. Hey, you know what? When someone really wants chocolate, they're not thinking about opening an advent calendar in a really orderly fashion. Well, then buy a chocolate bar. You didn't know that I left five days and that's what happened. I was like, and um, this really bugs me as well. <laughs> Clean it. Oh, did I get some in there? No, oh. but just like take <laughs> the rest of the tin foil off. Oh, is it the 15th? No, today's oh. the 13th. Mm -hmm. Right. Shouldn't have had to. <laughs> okay, this is the one I opened. I don't want this. <laughs> look, yes. look, look, look. Just clean it up. Yeah, well, look at this one. That one's pretty good. Yeah, I opened Patty, one. it's not like you send it in for a review. Oh, it has little things on the side. I know, and now we can't read. Look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> What's the joke? We don't know. Guys, comment down below if you open this in an orderly fashion, or like me, if you just want the chocolate. Buy a chocolate bar. Okay guys, that is gonna be it for today. I am so tired and I look like a hot mess. I just did some wrapping. You guys are gonna laugh so hard. Um, just a couple of things, like some stocking stuffers um, and just some random little gifts. This one though was so big and I didn't have enough paper so I just took some tissue paper and tried to make like um, haute couture bows on it. <laughs> So lame and tacky, but gotta do what you gotta do. So until tomorrow, see you guys later.